Hey guys, Harrison Ring Ring here, and, and um, basically we got a movie to review, so I just went to see his Retribution, the new Liam Neeson film. Basically, it's a story about him as Matt trying to take his kids to school when his wife was going to go visit a friend, and um, basically he takes his kids to school, and then basically there was like a bomb under his seat, if he goes, if he, um, Gets out of the car, the bomb blows up. Um, if uh, he get, goes to police, the bomb goes off. And um, basically, if he gets help, the bomb goes off. And all he did was want it for money. The killer, the, the villain did just want it for was obviously money, like terrorist crime stuff. You all know, all that styles. <laughs> but um, basically, it's just a little, literally a speed style. Literally, Keanu Reeves' speed style. Like, not impressed for it. So, here's basically my thoughts. Every time there's, like, a new Liam Neeson movie, I'm just like... It's just basically, it's like, he's just here for, like, another paycheck for his, like, next action film. That he's just, like, here for, like, a typical stereotype action where he's, like... Not really the best action star, but it's just, like, very typical for it. Like, he's, like, literally the same in, like, every action film from, like, 2020 to 2023. And, like, mostly, like, his previous film I mostly really liked was, like, the Cold Pursuit movie. The one that was, like, released in 2019. The one that was about that, like, uh... Sun kill like drugs. I, to be honest, like a lot of these Liam Neeson films that I haven't seen in like forever, they're like a lot of them we're just like all forget about. Like the previous one he had was like last year was the uh, was the uh, memory that was very forgettable or uh, blacklight forgettable. A lot maybe of his few current films were just mostly all forgettable. Like, probably for this one, which I thought it was really, really mid. It's just, like, you're going to probably forget this in, like, four days or so. But don't get me wrong. Liam Neeson, I don't hate him or something. He's okay, all right? Like, he, he some of his movies I do like, like the Taken films, they're really good. Well, mostly the first one. And second one was deep, likable. And third was all right. Or nonstop. Cold Pursuit, like I said, was really good. There's, like, plenty of few movies that he did was actually really good. And we yeah. obviously know Schindler's List is the best one. So, yeah. Like, obviously of this part. Like, usually every time there's, like, a new one, I'm just like, well, here's another mid-movie that I'm probably not going to care about that has Liam Neeson. Like, the story in this film just seemed like, it was just like, it's so flat like, you probably just, like, probably here for a snooze fest. But every time for Liam Neeson, it's just a movie that you just see a movie filmed in theaters. Like, that's what basically Retribution is. Like, it's just a movie that you just see in theaters, and it's just like a popcorn movie to watch over and over again. So, honestly, with this, it's just... Retribution just seems like a movie like you're not gonna like really 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 care about like Liam Neeson was just another same one and it's like the action was fine or even the cinematography music like a lot of stuff were just eh. but it's just the story was flat the action was okay but it's just a film like it's very forgettable and it's like a movie you couldn't even like remember like, mostly, if you're, like, a Liam Neeson fan, maybe you'll probably be like this. A lot of Liam Neeson films are just about entertainment. Like, his current new, like, action stars and stuff. Like, his action. Action movies, alright? Mostly all of it. Like I say to all of Gerard Butler films, Gerard Butt... <laughs> Gerard Butler films are, like, all about entertainment. So, um... That's all I got mostly for Retribution, but mostly with the ones I've seen, uh, they're all about entertainment. That's why I mostly feel like with a lot of Liam Neeson films, but it's just like, um, 
this one was just like a felt flat forgettable movie like not really caring about a story so much or with some decent action that's how it just feels for uh retribution for these days you know and to be honest probably when there's another one we're just like well let's just wish it to good luck <laughs> But um, anyways, I'm going to give Retribution a 3 out of 10 and a D plus. Like, this wasn't a really good movie. This was not a good movie. It was just a really mid film. Like, you're probably not going to really remember a lot on. So, that is all I got, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.